Five-minute penalty to Chicago, a game misconduct, and then Manson having words with Stephen. And now, Butcher gets into it. We're going to have a brawl, folks. Stand by. What's up, everybody? Tyler Cash here. Another episode of Fourth Line Goon Hockey Podcast. Hanging out here in my apartment, nursing a hangover with some water. Went to an awesome hockey game last night and watched the uh, Vegas Golden Knights shut down the Toronto Maple Leafs. It was fun. Had a good group for our boy Nick's bachelor party. So, uh, yeah, it was a good time. How you doing, bud? Doing good. Doing good. How about that uh, that eight one and one start you were mentioning, huh? That's not happening, I'm, huh? Yo, I'm not far from it. If they do, if they go eight two and zero, oh, that's pretty damn fucking close, right? I think Man. they're they're six and two right now. I'm pretty happy with the start. They're tied for first in the league with Cassidy's uh, first love child, the Boston Bruins. I, I mean, I'm not going to say there's an attachment there, but you know, there might be a little bit. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think they're five and two, but yeah, still, I mean, we'll see if they win the next three. Pretty damn close. Still not right though, so fuck you. But um, I mean, close enough. But like, honestly, it's a hell of a start to the season, especially when everyone was doubting them. And I saw last night that officially, at this point in time, statistically, Logan Thompson is a top five goaltender in the NHL with a point nine three two save percentage, and something crazy like just his goals allowed versus his expected is just is nuts. And it's just great to see because as I've been preaching from day one. Love to see the underdog story. You know, he signed for the next three years at less than a million. I mean, that's that it, it feels good. It feels good to have attendee overperform and, and to still be uh hungry. But um, yeah, man, it's uh it's good. It's I you know, obviously they were gonna beat the the shit teams, you know, the bottom tier, Seattle, Chicago. But I mean, the the fun part for me is to kind of see them competing with these other teams that are actual contenders and holding their own like within one goal. Um, you know, the, the Calgary game was exciting. The Leafs game, obviously, last night was great. I mean, they just didn't have an answer for Vegas's defense. But, um, I mean, how many games have the Blues played now? Is they still at one or like one and a half at this point? <laughs> yeah. They're up to four, up to four. So we're, we're moving and grooving finally. But uh, they got they got their asses spanked last night, though. I saw that like what zero to four. What's funny is like it wasn't even a, it wasn't even like it wasn't as bad as the score looked. Like basically, like Grice Grice played amazing. I don't care what the score says. Like he basically got hung out to dry at the end of the game. It was like four. It was like fifty minutes of if one more pass is just crisp. If that shot was one more inch to the right, it's in the net instead of off the post type of a night for the Blues. And then just bad transition out of the zone. And yeah, I mean Grice played a hell of a game. Honestly, I think he. I mean for what it's worth, I think he has the most saves to start their debut for the Blues in a game. I mean it's like. 32 it's nothing crazy but i mean he got peppered he got to face high quality chances all night i mean he really didn't let the team down but i mean yeah outside of that bennington's been bennington shut up the oilers what on saturday um mcdavid only had two shots that game for what it's worth too i mean blues for playing solid i mean i'm not gonna i'm just gonna kind of throw away the winnipeg game for what it's worth just kind of a little little off sounded like the they might have partied a little bit on Sunday watching uh, football and baseball and everything going on aside from from that. But uh, lesson learned, probably. I saw that McDavid took a spill last night into the net and uh, he was I think he went down the tunnel and he was gone for a minute. But he came and, back. have you heard he came back? OK, yeah. so not any any cause for concern with, with, with that injury. At least not yet. I mean, we know hockey players are like hurt or not. They're going to try to get back into the game like you see guys break their ankles and they'll still play the rest of the game because like once the boot comes off, it just swells up like crazy. It's like, I already got it fucking on. It can't get worse. Right. So, yeah, um, it, it was the same, yeah. same kind of story with Tavares last night. He took a slap shot to the back of his kneecap yeah. and he couldn't walk. So he was like assisted off the ice. And then I'm pretty sure he came back like 10 minutes later and finished out the rest of the game. So yeah, a little bit of that, uh, that James Neal inspiration for sure. <laughs> a little bit of that. No um, but yeah, no, uh, since we last spoke, the reverse retro series for the uniforms this year dropped. Most of them are awesome. Well, I don't know, split 50-50. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through them and we're going to do sort of a smash or pass situation where we're just going to say smash like 100%. I'm on board with this. 
or pass, like this is just atrocious. I, I, I feel like I kind of am 50, 50 with these overall. What, what what is your take just kind of looking, you know, at the overall conception of everything? I mean, I'm less than 50, 50. I mean, I think some of them are just, I don't like what, a, what are you doing with some of these and B like, I don't know. I mean, the fact that I mean we'll get to it. the fact that St. Louis Blues have a primary pea colored jersey just I hate it. <laughs> I know I, I I can't wait for your take on that, but let's let's go down the line. Let's go through. I, I mean we could do alphabetical order or just however we posted them. If you guys haven't seen all of them yet, you can go to our Facebook page and we posted like a a, a screen grab of every single one of the jerseys. So um, yeah, uh, go ahead and take us uh, take us there. Yeah, I mean we can start with the Ducks. Uh, Old school Mighty Ducks logo, but white body, what orange kind of at most accented there. Not a fan. Pass. Like I love they brought the old logo back, but like it just that I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm I'm gonna say smash, but just because that's the the ultimate hockey logo of all time, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, I mean, at at what point are they just gonna use it? Right, just bring it back, and and it shouldn't be a reverse retro anymore. It should just be their logo because that. Their logo now is the worst in hockey. So yeah, I'm, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say pass. Fair, fair. Uh Coyotes. There's a Coyotes fucking so burnt orange jersey. Apparently, I like, guess this, this is from NHL's website. The Coyotes are the first team to ever wear a jersey featuring the earth tone color Sienna. Could that be more specific and like the stupidest <laughs> thing ever? Um I love that they're using the old school coyote. I kind of I, I like the sort of the you know cactus stuff on the bottom, desert stuff on the bottom, but I I hate the color, so I'm passing. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like it would translate well on TV. Uh, kind of just like that weird rust, slightly mustardy. I don't know. It, it's gross, and honestly, it looks like a roller hockey jersey, which is yeah. there is a team that did the roller hockey jersey take this reverse retro launch that I did enjoy. We'll get to it later, but this is not one of them. So yeah, it's a pass for me. I feel that. I feel that. Then you have, I guess, going up like order, we have the Bruins. Um, white jersey, the old school bear. I'm like, what I mean, what did you really do to make this reverse retro besides making it white and I don't know, the stripes are like wavy. It's like Ant to me still. I'm passing on this as well. I love it, but I wish they would have went full meth bear and did the real cracked out logo right there on the chest. Yeah, I think it's great though because out of all of these original teams, uh, the original expansion and the original six, it's really hard for them to to step outside of their comfort zone and do something bold. Uh, I mean, we've seen the Red Wings strike out continuously when it comes to this. I love the original Leafs jersey, but like all these other secondary ones are just ugly and like misspelled and like capitalized all messed up. You know, like it's they're not really doing anything different. And at least the Bruins have the bear to fall back on. I just would have rather it have been the full cracked out bear. But yeah, I'm going to say it's a pass from me. Fair. Yeah. I mean, going on from that, we have the Sabres kind of took an old school logo from the early mid nineties blended it with the kind of new age stuff. I like it. I think it looks clean. Um, I always kind of love that logo. I think we both to like what, like last year or so realized that it was actually supposed to be like a Buffalo. Um, but yeah, I think it looks clean. I think it looks solid. Um, nothing crazy by any means, but I think they did enough to where like it looks fresh, but they didn't, you know, fuck it up, I guess. So I'm done with it. I love the logo. I mean, I immediately think of Dominic Hasek. Yeah. It's it, it's amazing. I, I love it. But the color scheme feels wrong to me. But I, I also understand it's reverse retro, right? Like, you have to do a new take on it. They couldn't just go back to the black and red. But, like, if it were me, I would have maybe just done, like, swapped the black and red and, and kind of made it more maybe like a – maybe a murdered out, like a, a black on black or maybe like a, a gray on black. It yeah. had that logo, but I, I don't love the the white and the blue and the yellow. Like it just, I get that if you're a Sabres fan, you are going to love that because that's your color scheme. But um, I, I'll say pass, but I, I'm like right there on the on the cutoff line. Reminds you too much of your Blues fandom, probably. No, because they have a good color blue. Okay. I like the say I okay. like the Sabres blue. It's not a, okay. a dirty primary blue, but yeah. Whatever. Um, Calgary Flames. I mean, right off the bat, like. 
pass. Like, I get they're trying to make, like, a homage to their 90s jerseys, but that just diagonal stripe just looks like some kid drew something scribbled on the bottom and tried to make, like, some sort of shape. And they're like, yeah, I'll put that on the jersey. I, I, And then, I don't know. The black looks like it, like, stops too early, can blend in, like, the red on the shoulders. It just looks chunky. I'm not a fan. Yeah, I and I, I'm confused as to why they didn't use Blasty. Like, I mean, I they are using them apparently in their like secondary jerseys, alternate jerseys this year at some point. But that is your retro, right? Like, I don't, I don't know. I and I'm with you. It just kind of looks like a Christmas bow kind of set up there at the bottom. I, I'm not about it, so that's a pass for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hurricane. They basically what took their away jersey and made it red. Yeah, I never, I never liked it. It's boring, honestly. Simply put, it is eh, pass. Yeah, I I would have much rather them done something across, maybe like what the Jets did, like just like a script or when Jersey when did they did Jersey? Wow. Like Canes would have been cool. I I mean I don't know. They I, I'm with you on that pass, and I don't. I never really liked their their color choice of what they use with red. It just seems wrong. Like it, it just. I mean, it's definitely a, an improvement over the Hurricane logo, and they had like the Valentine's red, but it just it doesn't it doesn't work for me. So it's a pass. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I, I hear you. Blackhawks, <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Chicago, that's it. Okay, yeah, great. It's like I went out and like bought a shirt that says like Tommy Hilfiger, and like oh cool, this is you know I don't know this is like Tommy. super boring yeah super boring like it's got my name <laughs> on it the city I'm from like whatever I mean it's yeah it literally just I'm I don't know like, apparently it's an homage to like 09 Winter Classic jersey but hard pass granted I hate yeah, Chicago de- hard pass definitely a pass the stripes are are an interesting take but overall it's just it seems uninspired I want to know when they're gonna like incorporate the bird you always see these like mock ups that have like the new logo that they can potentially use with like the bird. I think it'd be cool if they had a hawk. Like, why, you know, like, why do we have to keep using the chief, you know, logo or, or the Indian faced logo, whatever you, whatever he's been called? But like, the, yeah, I, I'd like to see them use an animal, use a hawk. Or, I mean, isn't a black hawk also like it could be a, a battle plane? Like, I mean, you, yeah. there's so many things, so many things you could do. I don't know. But, and I think that they struck out with this one. No yeah. surprise, though. Yeah, true. Like their franchise is striking out as as we go forward, so I'm happy with that. Um, Colorado Avalanche kind of homage to their their state, kind of the seas from the their state flag. Um, the stripes kind of mimic the Rocky Mountains. Like it's not the worst thing. Um, looks all right. I mean, I, I can't see myself kind of buying it. Really, if I, if I'm going to these jerseys yeah. and I'm like, hey, if I were just like unbiasedly like. I want this jersey, not for me. No, it's a pass for me. It's it's not loud enough, and I'm still mad that they've never used like the Bigfoot logo as like a primary logo, and and go with like the abominable snowman kind of like theme. Have some fun with it. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a pass for me. But I mean, not being from Colorado, I you people should understand I'm not hyped. But if you live there, I could I could see like, oh hey, this is our like state flag, right? I I did get behind it, but not me. So pass. Blue Jackets, I think, like Chicago, could be potentially one of the bottom jerseys out of this. Out of this, in my opinion, um, black base, like old school first primary logo, which again kind of ties into their state flag. It's like a black with a weird blue. Uh, it it also just looks odd. I'm not a fan. Passing any, yeah, it's going to be a pass, unfortunately, because I hate to pass on black jerseys. But anytime you have that color blue and that color and that black together it just gets muddy and it doesn't it's not great um yeah i i would have went kind of more with that old logo that they had in the 90s or like early 2000s it looked like it was like a some sort of um casino looking design i thought that was cool and i would have also done like black on black or gray on black yeah. i don't know why why we have to try to you know church it up and go further than that let's let's just go black on black or white on black that's Let's murder it out, and it would look way tighter. So that's a pass. Fair. Dallas Stars uh, have a kind mm-hmm. of black base and the green accents. I will say, like, I think this one barely gets a pass for me, just because they've they've had black jerseys in the past with the green. It's looked good. It's kind of paying an homage to that. 
Uh, what kind of ties it together, I feel like for me personally, is like the color scheme could be better. But then like I like how they tied in the shoulder patches that have like the the star where like Dallas is on it and, and stuff like that within the state. Um, barely a pass, but I'm probably still not, I'm still not buying it, in my opinion. I just would have rather them have gone full Mike Madano or full Brett Hole yeah. and did the and did the the star cut at the bottom and just changed up the colors. So the side is is weird. I I, I don't like the, the the stitching and the lines that go all the way down the arm. Um, that color green is always hard too because it it kind of reminds me of like a menthol cigarette <laughs> pack. Like it's just kind of like. I don't know. It's an interesting color green. I know why they wouldn't want to go full primary with it, but also when you mix black with this particular color, like it has this tendency of kind of also look like Andy's mints. Like mm-hmm. it, I don't, I don't know. Like it, it reminds me of like a grandma, like it, it's something yeah. like a, an outfit a grandma would wear. So that's a pass for me, but I could also understand being a Dallas stars fan, why you would be hyped. I just don't know why they didn't go full Madonna with it. Yeah. Yeah. Red wings. Red jersey, black stripes, Detroit. <laughs> it's like Chicago literally without the white accents on Chicago. Again, I get you're paying homage to an older jersey from the 20s. It's just boring. I mean, it's reverse retro. Like, it's supposed to be something exciting, I feel like, this time around. And it's just, it's not it. It's not it. I mean, granted, it's I think bad. the last one was clean, but, like, it wasn't anything, like, different, really. But, yeah, it's hard now. It's better than Chicago. It's the same idea as Chicago, but it's slightly better. I feel like it from what I rem- like remember seeing. Yeah, it's a little more like clean uniform kind of striping and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I, but it's still a pass. I get what they're going for with it. I actually enjoy the stripes. Like I think it's cool that they're trying to do that old school throwback. But um, yeah, it's a pass. Got the Oilers, sort of their oil drop jersey from back in the day. I love the. I've always liked the logo. I, I just not fucking with the orange. Uh, that's, yeah. that's, really, that's really it. I mean, I get it. Oilers are probably orange. Their orange jerseys look fine. Just I don't know. This just I again. I understand it's a Bruce retro and everything. Just not for me. The pass here again as well. Uh, I'm gonna smash for sure. I think it's great. I love that they are able to have the oil drop. Is that what it called? Their oil yeah. drill or something like that? It's it's rad, and I understand that they had to add the orange to change it up slightly from what it was because that's the whole concept of reverse retro. They couldn't just go full retro with it. Uh, I think it's great. Pass for me. I think uh, it's awesome to see a team like I said that is an original that is able to do something innovative. And yeah, I'm about it. Fair. Uh, got one of those bold ones. I feel like out of the list, uh, Florida Panthers that took their their shoulder patch from the late '90s, made it their primary logo here, threw it on that sort of what light blue, pale blue kind of background from like their third jersey back in the the what oh eight oh nine type of season. Um, and kind of pair it with their primary colors. I think out of the one where this one's kind of more extreme and trying to do something crazy, like it goes well together. Um, I'm for it. I think. Uh, uh, I should pass on this one. Smash on this one, I guess. Oh wait, wait. So you're gonna smash on it? Or yes. Are you sorry, smash. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, considering they have the All Star game this year and they're kind of going with like the Miami Vice vibes, I think it's brilliant. I think it's awesome. I think it looks good. It kind of does strike me as like a villain team from Mighty Ducks. Like it's not a fully fledged out, thought out design. Like you said, they just took that shoulder patch, mm-hmm. threw it in the front color scheme is fun i also posted something about it kind of having that whole jackie moon semi-pro kind vibe. of vibe yeah 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 I, I i dig it though it's it's bold it's it's uh it worked for me so i'm gonna smash as well fair uh i got the kings taking their uh what i think like their purple jerseys from the 80s and turning them white essentially um yeah i think it look fine i mean i got nothing against them i mean I say, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm down for them. I, I say smash on these. They're clean. Like, all the colors actually go together on, like, some of these teams. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm for it. Like, it's not amazing, amazing by any means, but it looks it looks solid. I would have much rather them have taken the Chevrolet logo look from the Wayne Gretzky era more and, and transformed that. Um, the whole crown and purple and Lakers color situation – clearly went really well the first time they did the reverse retro, which is why they revisited this idea. But I think it's time to move on personally. I think that especially that the fact that they've 
been wearing the Chevrolet logo more. They have the chrome domes. I, I think they should really capitalize on that era. And I think they could have also benefited from just, you know, reversing those colors, like having more of a murdered out color scheme. Uh, that's a pass for me and not just because I hate the LA Kings. There. Uh, Minnesota Wild North Stars jersey meets the modern Wild Crest. Yeah. I'm they should have just done. Uh, I'm not a fan. It, it, it is using colors of the team that you originally lost that relocated. Um, I don't know. I mean, not a fan. Yeah, I think it's just green and yellow. Just looks funky. I, I've always said this about the Minnesota Wild. Their logo is awesome. They have the worst color scheme in the uh, NHL. It's like mm-hmm. either Christmas or Subway's colors, or it's it's not. It doesn't work. It's not good. And the Minnesota North Stars were some of the most badass unis in the entire league. And I understand you're gonna your your take is gonna be like, well, that's not their team anymore. But we've seen them do it across the league. Like right, the Hur- the yeah. Carolina Hurricanes brought back the Hartford Whalers like logo. Like you can do it. I think they should. I think they should have brought back the North Stars. This might have been the last chance to get to do that with this reverse retro series. Because who knows if they're going to do it moving on after Adidas is no longer doing the unis. Um, big pass. Big pass, but no surprise because I'm not a fan of anything they really put out. Fair. Uh, Montreal Canadiens. Go back to their late 70s jerseys when they won the their 22nd Cup. I love the colors in a sense to where it kind of reminds me of like the Montreal Expos back in baseball times when they played there in, in Montreal uh, before they moved to Washington, uh, D.C., but yeah, I mean, light blue, dark blue, red. I, I get it. That's it's not for me. Still, again, here pass on my side too. I don't like the Habs logo. It looks like a toilet seat. I've been saying this forever. <laughs> I know this is an unpopular opinion. Everyone loves to stroke their jersey off. Um, not for me, but I do love that color blue. I think that baby blue, powder blue, maybe is what yeah. I. I'm a fan of it. I think the Penguins jersey looked awesome when that when they did that color. So I guess out of all the Habs jerseys, this might be one of my favorites. So I'll say pass. So you're still passing? No, sorry, smash. Yeah, okay. smash on that. Because because I do like the color scheme. I I do. Okay. I think it's cool. And 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 I like how it's powder blue and not like that the Toronto Maple Leafs color blue. So it's they're not taking a color from a rival team or anything it's they're just using that that old old school you know like you said yeah. expo vibe so uh yeah smash what's up goons tyler cash here from the fourth line goon hockey podcast interrupting today's episode to talk about our newest sponsor jesse ray's barbecue las vegas barbecue has become a style of its own over the years to sum it up with one word it's perfection Come try their award-winning slow-smoked ribs, chicken, pulled pork, hot links, and brisket. When I stopped in, I made sure I ordered the Fortress, and it was delicious. Let me tell you what, come in hungry or come with a bunch of friends because there's a lot of delicious food on that plate. They offer barbecue catering, dining in, takeout, delivery, and they also sell their award-winning barbecue sauce by the bottle. They just opened a location in Henderson at 308 North Boulder Highway. And of course, they have their original location located right behind Mandalay Bay at 5611 South Valley View Boulevard. They're open Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. They're open Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. For delivery, call 702-541-541. Five five four six. Once again, that number is 702-541-5546. You can find them on Instagram and Twitter at Jesse Ray's Barbecue. And let me tell you what, ever since I moved out here to the desert two years ago, no other barbecue compares. Jesse Ray's is the real deal. Check it out. You will not be disappointed. Guess who's back? Schlafly's back. That's right, Schlafly Brewing Company is back for its second season in a row of sponsoring the 4th Line Goon Hockey Podcast, and I, for one, could not be any more stoked. Not only is Schlafly responsible for the most delicious beer that St. Louis has to offer, but they also have their hands in some of the most rad events, such as concerts, Maplewood Market, and art outside. Make sure you're following them on social media, 
at Instagram, it's Schlafly Beer. And on Twitter, it's Schlafly. Or, of course, you can just go to their website, which is Schlafly.com. That's S-C-H-L-A-F-L-Y.com. And you can keep up to date on all their most recent products and events. Now, it's getting to be my favorite time of the year when it comes to craft beer. Everyone that knows me knows I love a good pumpkin beer. I love a good stout. And let me tell you, their coffee stout is some of the best I've ever had. And they're also pumping out the raspberry Hefeweizen. I know that everyone loves that. They're a big fan. They have the, the real fruit infused. It's just delicious. And one could not forget their famous Oktoberfest. It's delicious. It puts all the other Oktoberfest to shame. Check it out. How you can get your hands on it is very easy. Most pubs around the St. Louis area are already going to keep it stocked, but if not, make sure you let them know to do so or go to schlafly.com and locate how you can find yours and enjoy today. Schlafly Brewing Company. Drink Mo Beer. Are you looking to sell your home? How about finally buying your dream home? Well, then look no further than Sin City Properties and my boy Adam Neglick the smooth skating agent from Realty One Group. This is a true story, not just an ad read. My mom recently moved halfway cross country from St. Louis, Missouri to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and Adam was the man. Not only did he help her find her dream home, he made sure it was a smooth transition financially. He even helped us move. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about dealing with realtors, but a lot of times they're uppity. They're hard to talk to. That's not my boy, Adam. He's a beauty to talk to. He's a hockey fan. He's a great guy. So let me put you in touch with him. Go to SinCityProperties.com or you can call him at 702-335-2156. Once again, that's Adam Neglick, the smooth skating agent from Realty One Group. You can go to SinCityProperties.com. You can get a free market analysis and he'll help you find your dream home today. Uh, Nashville Predators. Love. Absolutely love that they brought back the famed Predator absolutely pissed that they stuck with again pea yellow like i think yeah. the rumor was they were gonna go maybe blue with it which would have looked sick uh even a dark blue you know almost black i would have been rock solid but yeah sticking to that i can't i can't do it pass so they they went full crackhead predator skull and i think that's great it's awesome uh the little nashville patch right here that's not even on the jersey, it's literally a patch. Mm-hmm. Bothers me way more than it should. Also, the Predators silver and like that dark navy that they had when they had that logo for their unis is like some of the sickest color combination that I've seen in the league in quite some time. And they had every opportunity to do that. Once again, I understand you have to change it up. That's the whole concept of reverse retro. But I, I, yeah, I'm with you. The, the color scheme ruined it. So that's the pass. All right, New Jersey Devils pay no homage to their team's pass as the Colorado Rockies, not the baseball team. But, um, yeah, they kind of tied in the Devils logo with that old color scheme with the blue, the red, and the yellow. Um, I think this looks really clean. Uh, it's weird seeing the New Jersey logo that's, like, circled in blue. Um, I think he did a really clean job with it. Definitely kind of has those, like, clown color vibes to it, especially – um, like those blues jerseys and whatnot back in the day, even the reverse retro most recently. But um, the fact that it kept it a white base, I think this this fucks. So pass. Or sorry, smash. I keep wanting to say pass. <laughs> like yes, it it passes yes, the test. It passes. But, yes. Yeah. So smash. Um, yeah. I'm I'm uh, the exact opposite on that. But uh, as a New Jersey fan, I can understand why you would just want the same logo but slightly changed up. As you referenced their their heritage, I didn't realize that that was why they went with that color scheme. So you have slightly convinced me to be more on the edge of my decision, but I I do like the jersey <laughs> jerseys. I think that that was great. I think being that obnoxious is what the whole grand scheme of things is when it comes to reverse retros. Uh, so for me, I, it's a it's a pass, but it's like you know it's it's right there on the line. Fair, fair. Then you got what up next? New York Islanders got the. Uh... The Fisherman on the jersey here again. Um, the 1995 jersey. Uh, kind of like teal waves, navy scheme, kind of like accented in orange. Um, 
I like the logo a lot. I just don't like the jersey itself outside of the logo. Uh, it's just it's all slanted and funny looking. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm passing here. It's all slanted and funny looking. It's, yeah. it's what they say about they say about your penis, right, bud? I mean, I've, I've heard I've heard worse. <laughs> I've heard worse. Uh, uh, dude, I have to say pass because this was a missed opportunity. They didn't do the wave at the bottom of the jersey, and that's yeah. like the, that's the icing on the cake. It hurts me to pass. Because I think the fisherman logo is great. I think it's awesome, um, and I'm glad that the Islanders are going outside of their comfort zone and doing something a little bit more bold. But pass. Fair. New York Rangers, Lady Liberty comes back. Um, great to see it. I hate that this jersey literally looks like I'm wearing a t-shirt. If I were to put it on, so pass. Yeah, there's not a lot of creativity when it comes to like the stitching and the design on it um but i love that they're using the lady liberty i think it's awesome they could have benefited from the logo being huge like much bigger um like the coyotes old primaries where the the coyote head is, is like this big i yeah. love when, when when teams have obnoxious logos uh, i feel like the oilers did that with the the oil gear or whatever it is it's like really big on the jersey i think that lady liberty could have benefited from being bigger but I, I I love it. I love the logo. I love it's glad it's back. I, I might have to consider getting myself a Revo New York Rangers jersey because it's kind of in my goal to get one of every team he plays for. So uh, that's a that's a smash from me. Just buy a t shirt with the same logo on it. It's the same damn thing. <laughs> um, Ottawa Senators. Uh, they took their what Centurion logo, the big old sort of Spartan. Speaking of massive logos, this one looks huge. Uh, black jersey, kind of red accents. I love it. I hate that sort of that red accent kind of like cuts into the logo kind of. Um, I'm on the border, but I think it it, it barely is smash like five drinks in, I'd consider it type of a thing. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. I love the, the 2D logo as they're calling it. I think it's great. Much better than their the primaries they were using just a few years ago. So I'm about it. Black and red is an amazing color scheme when it comes to any sports. So it's a pass for me. Or sorry, smash. <laughs> we keep fucking it up. Um, yes. Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> it's uh. a smash solely on the reason that they have Cooperalls coming back. With their oh, journeys. yeah. The, that's the, it. The pant- yeah, yeah, that's the, it. Uh, I'm a, I'm in agreement with you. The pants are tight, but the jersey leaves a little to the imagination. But I'm I'll, I'll also smash as well, just because those pants are uh, they're very uh, very sexy. <laughs> I gotta uh, see we gotta see torts in it, dude. I like I feel like Torrella like be amazing. Just walks around his neighborhood like walking his Yorkie dog, wearing that, just glaring down his neighbors. Like I feel like that's the the vibe. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Pittsburgh Penguins brought back the the Robo Pen from the nineties. Uh, not the old color scheme, but kind of like the the gold and white stripes um, on it. I've always kind of loved the big giant Robo Penguin. I think it looks solid. I mean, hard to not say it, it doesn't look clean. So I think I got to go smash there. Yeah, I mean, it's going to remind me of Lemieux and Yager, and that's an exciting time if you're a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. Uh, I always was a little bit bothered by the logo. It kind of reminds me of like a cigarette logo from the 90s is what I always compared it to. But I'm excited because the merchandising that they've put out with it looks sick. Um, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm I'm also I'm gonna smash. I think it's great. It's reminding me of that luxurious, luxurious, uh, luxurious locks from Yager, just flowing right above, uh, right above the uni, and I'm about it. San Jose Sharks, '70s California Golden Seals jersey. It's exactly the same, except you have sharks instead of seals. I always loved kind of the color scheme there. Um, Kind of boring what they did with it, and just changed the, the sort of lettering. But I always thought it looks clean. Uh, I know you're not liking the sharks too much. You're not gonna like it, but I say smash. I I I mean I dig the heritage behind it. I don't understand why they didn't just go seals. If that's what you're doing, right? You're you're taking the logo. It's what a lot of teams did. They they took the actual logo from from what they were using. So it's kind of weird. It says sharks, but maybe some people might not have gotten it. It might have hurt their sales also you like i keeping a theme of what i've been talking about with the reverse retro you got to slightly change it up i think it's fun i my unpopular opinion is i hate the sharks uni just as it is i've always have like 
So I like this one. I'm going to have a hot take. I'm going to throw everyone off and I'm going to say smash. Okay. Okay. Uh, Kraken kind of use their, the, the C green as the primary color. This is what I was kind of afraid of, but what they would have done with their jerseys to begin with. I hate it. Not a fan. Pass. Yeah. I miss a huge missed opportunity too. Cause they could have done the whole uh, Metropolitan's logo or they could have made their secondary, their primary. And we've talked about this before. Their secondary is like way, way tight. Like I, yeah. I like it more than their main and you could have combined them and had some sort of new thing, but instead they just messed with the color scheme and threw some stripes in huge missed opportunity pass. See those blues. Love yeah, I want to hear. Love hear that they use the original logo. I always thought it's sick. It's great that you brought that into the mix. I am pissed off that I have a pea colored jersey in the blues sort of mix of jerseys now. It just doesn't suit us. Like the red one last year was kind of a stretch. I mean, the fact that we're like yellow now, I get it's one of our colors, but I, I, I can't get behind it. I just can't. It's not for me. Hard pass. I mean, it was never used, right? This was the original yeah. concept. Yeah. So the problem is, is you could have just went with what the original concept was and it would still be enough reverse retro. Like there really wasn't a history to it. You could have done whatever you wanted. You could have stick, stuck to what the original plan was, but instead you had to go with this piss yellow. As you said, like the the piss yellow that you have after drinking like three, four Locos is kind of like what it looks like. Um, I think it's cool that, it, it, it takes up a big chunk of the front of the, the jersey. I, I do dig the, the stitching and, and where the striping is. Um, but yeah, it, it's a it's a pass for me. But I also have to mention that I was really hoping they were going to do the like white with the blues written and then the blue note directly underneath it, like right at the belly button. I was hoping that they would revisit that. I think it was like the Brian Suter era. Um, yeah, I, I pass. Uh, I think what Tampa Bay Lightning next Field mm-hmm. features sort of their sort of you know lightning and cool graphics across the the main logo. I'm fine with it. I just what, what ruins it for me is like the roller hockey s kind of like wave at the bottom. Not that, that just it's it's yeah too like too too silly. I feel like not for me. I I love how silly it is. Earlier in this episode, when I mentioned there was a team that kind of went full roller hockey. I was talking about the Tampa Bay Lightning. I think it's great. My only problem is, is they should have went full subliminal. Um, instead, they they did uh, sublimation, right? Am I saying the right? Yeah, they, yeah. they should have went full roller hockey, like kind of like the Arizona Coyotes did. But instead, you can see the stitching like yeah. all along everywhere, and that drives me nuts. But I love that it's that loud, and that's going to be a smash from me. Okay. Uh, Maple Leafs are in their 60s cup jersey with last time they've won. Uh, <laughs> boring, simple, plain, nothing new. It's, I mean, I wouldn't, if I was a Leafs fan, why am I dishing out money for the same exact jersey, basically, in my opinion, Pats? Yeah, I wish they would have done the St. Pats logo and then changed up the color scheme. That would have been awesome for me. I, I, it's a pass for me as well because they're one of those original teams that never really steps out of the box. So, yeah. Canucks got their sort of 60s jersey with Johnny Canuck as the crest. Uh, love, love it. it. Yeah. Uh, yep. the, the green is a little iffy for me with everything, but it, it's, it's a smash. It's a smash. That's top five for me this year. I think it's great. When it leaked originally, I thought it was awesome. I, I, I dig it because, I mean, a Canuck is literally an obligerant, drunk Canadian, right? Like, that's what it is. And we're getting that. We're kind of, it would have been cool if he was like holding a beer, right? Is he, yeah. hold, he's not holding a beer. No, no, no. he's, dude, it should have went full on with it, but a uh, fun jersey. And I'm I'm about it. So, all right, got three teams left. Golden Knights got the Vegas across the front diagonally. What apparently glows in the dark. Um, you know all that stuff. I'll let you go first on this one. First of all, I you know I love it because I love how big the crust is in the front. They did the diagonal Vegas, and it literally goes. I feel like from point to point. It. I love it. The the glow in the dark aspect is rad. Um, it's loud, obnoxious. It pisses a lot of uh, traditional hockey fans off. So I'm about it. Uh, I'm a sucker for black jerseys. I'm a sucker for the diagonal font. I uh, love it. I already pre ordered mine. I'm very excited to uh, to wear it uh, sometime around Thanksgiving. I think they're wearing it for the first time. I'm about it. But 
I'm going to, I'm interested to see your take. Obviously this isn't a traditional hockey uni, but they're not a traditional market. So what do you think? When the leak first came out where everything looked like they were using like mustard yellow, I thought it was laughable. In all honesty, all the kind of uh, mock-ups or stuff. I think the first one they had was like Alex Tuck from like a year or two ago and like sort of photoshopped it in with like bright yellow colors. To have done that would have been, I think, one of the worst this year. The fact that they stuck with kind of gold and made it look how it should look. I, I like that. Um, it's it's barely barely a smash for me. I'll put it that way. Woo, that's a big win for me, though. <laughs> I love hearing that. Uh, I'm with you. But also we should talk about the... The sword on the side, right? On the, I love when teams kind of add these little additional things, like the lightning bolt from Tampa. I thought it was a nice little touch. Um, yeah, you know, it's a big old smash for me. A smash all day. I'll marry that jersey as far as I'm concerned. All right, two more. Washington Capitals. Screaming Eagles back in black. I love it. I kind of always like that jersey. That's kind of, I think, the first jersey OV, OV kind of wore when he came into the league, if I remember correctly, um, yep. or pretty close to it. But, uh, yeah, I love it. I think it looks solid for sure. Yeah, I I love the colors. I think they they don't clash, unlike yeah. some of the other black jerseys, like the Columbus one. Uh, love the Screaming Eagle logo. I love when jerseys do that '90s diagonal thing. Huge smash for me. I'm with you. Like when I when I see that jersey, I, I think of Ovechkin. So I'm I'm in. All right, last one. Winnipeg Jets white base, kind of a couple different blues stuck to the old school Jets logo with the actual like fighter jet in there. I think it looks clean, kind of homage to their whiteouts they have with their playoff runs and things like that. So I'm I'm for it. I think it looks clean. All for it. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Uh, go back and, and uh, watch our, our first couple episodes from the season. We're just giving our predictions for what we think is to come. And make sure you add us on, on Facebook and all that great stuff and check out our sponsors. I have no water to cheers you, but cheers, everybody. Empty here as well. Cheers. Thanks.